So you know me living in Florida here, people always ask me, hey, which lobsters do you like better, northern lobsters or spiny lobsters from the south? Well, today, we're gonna answer that question. I got these beautiful northern lobster tails from Lobster Anywhere and up in Amesbury, Massachusetts. Pretty awesome, man. They deliver right from the dock to your door. I got these nice, beautiful lobster tails. They're a jumbo lobster tail. Like they sent me two of them. So we're gonna do these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare them up to the southern lobster tails. These are called spiny lobsters. Let me show you why they call them spiny lobsters. Now the other ones were sent to us. These ones were caught by my friend Heather. Now the basic difference between the northern lobsters and the southern lobster, now this lobster, Okay, smooth, has a little bit of spines here, but it has a regular head and then it has big claws. Now, southern lobsters, if you're not familiar, are called spiny lobsters. They're warm water lobsters. They have no claws. And what they have is these spines all over these little spikes. They're called spiny lobsters. And the head of them has all these little spikes all over them. So if you were to touch it with your hand and like grab it like this, I'd probably have a blood, bloody hand right there. So that's the basic difference. These have no claws. These do have claws. Meat looks very similar. This one's a little bit more maybe orangey in color. This one's a much whiter one. But we're gonna see what the big difference is, if we can taste the difference, if there's a texture difference. We're gonna see how the whole thing is gonna come out. And I can't wait because I've been wanting to do this forever because I get asked so much. I'm gonna show you how I prep them. We'll put them on the egg, we'll get cooking, then that's be it. Now our presentation on these is gonna be a kind of a classic presentation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the shell right down the middle. We're gonna pull the meat out of it and then set it back on top of the shell and let it cook like that. So it's gonna be a beautiful presentation when it's done, and we'll show you how to do both of them right now. So the interesting part about these southern lobsters, since they have no claws, they don't, the only form of defense they have is the spines on them. These spots here, actually through nature, have been developed to fool their predators into thinking these are eyes, so that they look like a lot bigger than they are. They don't want their predators to attack them, so science, you know, because science. Now, the reason that we prepared these like this is if you leave the meat just down in the shell, it's gonna kinda really cook unevenly and it's not gonna come out right. If you pull it out like this, it's got heat coming at it from all sides evenly. It's gonna cook to the right temperature all at the same time, which by the way, you wanna get it to about 140, 145 degrees. We're probably gonna pull these at about 140 when they're done. This way we got that nice, moist, succulent lobster meat. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good, there's nothing better. So, I think it's time to light the grill. All right, the one thing that goes great with all lobster, and whether it's southern, northern, claws, no claws, doesn't matter, is compound butter, herb butter. So we're gonna make that. We're gonna start with one stick of unsalted butter. We're gonna use minced garlic, and now our herbs. You know me, if a recipe is how to cook one clove of garlic, I'm still using two, so I'm gonna go to a little more garlic. Ooh. Baby.
So lobster is ideally done at 145 degrees. When it hits that, we're done. So let's check to see where we're at. We want it a little bit below that. Look at that, 142, 143, perfect. Let's pull these off. All right, lobster time. We clawed our way through that cook. <laughs> Get it, clawed. My favorite part now, we're gonna eat these things. Look at how beautiful they are. I can't wait. I'm gonna start with the New England lobster, the one with claws from Lobster Anywhere. Oh, so tender. Look at that. Just gorgeous, opaque color in the middle, cooked perfectly. I'm gonna give it a little, little butter dip. What's wrong with a little butter dip? Nothing at all, right? Here we go. Wow, wow. No, no, not just wow. I'm going wow-wee on that one. Mm. Oh, God, that's good. I love my job. So sweet. Mm. Tender. That herb butter. I don't know who the first person to ever catch a lobster and pull it up and decide to eat that ugly looking thing, but thank you, whoever you are. Mm. Shall we bite into the second one? The spiny lobster? Yay! Okay. Let's see. So now this was caught here local, down in the Florida Keys. Same opaque color on the inside. Oh yeah, a little bit of herb butter. Let's see. Cheers. Wow. Just wow. Mmm. Slight differences in taste. Mm-hmm. Texture is very similar. I think maybe the spiny lobster is a little bit more firm. So good. I don't know, we may have to do this whole thing again so we can cook four more lobsters and check it out again. <laughs> no, both delicious. I think that the, the lobster anywhere, um, northern lobster, I think, I think it probably wins out in the sweetness category. Sweeter and possibly even a little more tender. The warm water lobster has a little bit different flavor. It's not as sweet. It's really good as well. I, you know. I grew up in New York and I used to catch these when I lived up there. We used to go out of Port Jefferson and catch these. I live here now and we catch these. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't have thought there was as big a difference, but there really is. Do you want to bite? Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I wish I could share this with all of you. But anyway, we're going to finish off here. I'm going to go eat these lobsters. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw here, do us a favor. Hit subscribe, okay? Ring the bell down there. Let us know that you like us. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Do you like northern lobster with claws? Or do you like spiny lobster better? Have you had both? Anything. Leave us a comment. Let us know. Let us know what you'd like to see us make, all right? In any case, I really want to thank you for tuning in for another week of the Fogo Life. I appreciate you. Get out and grill, and we'll see you next time.